guys welcome back to my channel my name is Antonia I am back with another video in today's video we're gonna be creating this look right here anyway you guys it's been a little while since I've done makeup on camera so this is gonna be very interesting so bear with me if you're new here welcome and if you're already part of this family welcome back I love you love you so much so yeah stay tuned let's go ahead and get this makeup done let's go ahead and get into it I did my eyebrows off camera because it's just easier so we're just gonna go in with the oil first okay one essential thing you guys gotta remember is to prep your skin before you do makeup because if your skin is not prepped and it's not good your makeup is not gonna look flawless do your skincare prior to doing your makeup and you'll thank me later you guys I look like beignet mm. I am oiled up so the oil that I use, you guys probably already know this. This is the Shea Moisture 100% Virgin Coconut Oil Daily Hydration Overnight Face Oil, my go-to. And then I'm gonna go in with this uh, primer. It's the Pro Filter Modifying Primer. This is by Fenty. And I'm just gonna apply a little bit of that on just the T-zone. All the areas that tend to get oily on my face is usually just right here. The rest of my face is kind of dry, so I don't have to worry about applying primer in those areas. Okay, so now that my face is nice and oiled up, I'm going to go ahead and shave it off a little bit. Just got to shave these areas right here. Like if you're gonna like, you know, shave your face in any way, try to make sure your face is either moisturized or pull like some type of, um, pull some type of like shaving stuff, like cream, just so it's not too harsh on your skin. Next, I'm gonna go in with my favorite concealer of all time. And this is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Medium Beige. I'm just gonna apply it on those little dark uh, spots or those little dots on my face to kind of like cover them up. All right, next we're gonna go in with foundation and the foundation that I'm gonna be using today is the Born This Way Unpredictable Medium to Full Coverage Foundation. It's supposed to be oil free. That's one thing I like about it. Anyway, so I just grabbed my brush and I sprayed a little bit of uh, a little bit of the Beauty Evolved Dewy Makeup Setting Spray. This is the Luminous Mist. The Luminous Mist. I just sprayed a little bit on this, and then I'm gonna go ahead and spray a little bit on my face to make my foundation nice and dewy. All right. So yeah, normally I wait for my foundation to sit for a little bit, but I feel like I was trying to go for a dewy look, so yeah, we just kind of go in already. Yeah, like I was saying guys, key to flawless makeup is flawless skin, so you want to make sure you do skincare prior to doing makeup. I uh, I just did like a, I exfoliated my skin today. I try to do it once or twice a week, so today was that day. And I did it like three, I think it's like two to three hours before I'm applying this makeup. So it kind of gives your skin, you know, time to like heal from all that scrubbing. Next, I'm going to go ahead and apply my concealer. And it's the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Medium Beige. I don't want a whole lot. So I'm going to try to conceal just a teeny bit. So yeah guys you guys have seen my videos before and I do almost like the same thing every day so even my makeup does not change it's the same over and over again so while I'm doing this one on my chin I'm gonna let the other one just kind of dry up a little bit okay duty calls Hey 
Anyway guys, so I just finished blending my concealer and now I'm gonna go ahead and set it. My setting powder is a Pro Filter by Fenty Beauty and it's in the shade Honey and I mix with the Honey Powder by Revolution. So I just kinda mix those two together and on my Beauty Blender, I'm just gonna pat it off a little bit and I will go ahead and just start applying in just all the areas that I highlighted and you want to use the patting motion so you're like building that product into your skin just so it sits nice because you don't want to bake And just so you guys know, my mirror is like right there, so I'm kind of staring on that side just because that's where my mirror is at. You guys, powder is your best friend in the summer because it gets really hot and sweaty. So you want to make sure your makeup has or you give your face enough powder. So that is that. I'm not gonna set my forehead again because I don't want to put a lot of makeup on my forehead because my hair is in the way, kinda. Kinda. So. And then we're gonna do my nose. So my nose tend to get oily, so I'm gonna kinda let it bake for a little bit and then i will just brush it off next we're gonna go ahead and do a uh, contour and in today's video i'm feeling like using my contour stick by oh yeah my contour stick by juvia's place and it's in the shade sokoto oh. anyway i'll just apply a little bit of that right there a little bit of that right there right there I was gonna put some on my forehead but I can't so that kind of sucks we'll go ahead and blend it and then whatever's left off on the brush that's what we're gonna use to um, contour the nose start with this part right here then I'm gonna pinch my brush and get the sides of my nose Instead of having to grab a whole new brush for this, you just pinch this one and just kind of sweep the side of your nose, the bottom of it. And then we're just going to apply a little more of the powder because we kind of swept it off. Do, 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 do. Next, we're going to go ahead and uh, set the cream contour. And the contour that I use is just a regular powder, just in a darker shade. And this is the True Match in the shade C7. Next, we're gonna go in with a powder to blend everything in, and I'm using the Fit Me by Maybelline, and it's in the shade 355. It's just a powder. I'm gonna go ahead and blend everything in with this uh, really big brush. Okay, I love powders. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is done. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and spray my setting spray on my face. All right, so now we're gonna apply a little bit of, uh... see, I always forget this name. I don't really like eyeshadow like that, and I'm not a big fan, so yeah not a big fan i'm just applying this like brown color in my crease 
And then I'm gonna go in with like, um, maybe an orange shade to like blend it out. But you guys already know I don't really like eyeshadow like that. So we're gonna try to stay away from it. So I applied this brown and now I'm gonna go ahead and apply this orange, like a peach color to blend it out. So on the bottom of my lash though, like my lash line, I'm gonna apply a black eyeshadow and then I'm gonna blend it in to make it a little bit smoky to give it like a to give it life. Okay, people, that is that. Woo, that just made me cry. Now I'm gonna grab like a brown or dark brown eyeshadow and just gonna blend that in. I just highlighted the bottom of my cheeks so I'm gonna go ahead and highlight um, I don't know what brand this is actually this is called the bronze palette by Jasmine LaBelle Next, I'm gonna do my mascara and then we're gonna apply some lashes. Here are the lashes that I'm gonna apply. I've worn them before, I don't remember where they're from, but they just kinda look like that. Not too thick, not too thin, but um, they're gonna do the job. Now I'm gonna go in with this brow gel. It's called Eyebrow Mascara by Bella Pierre Cosmetics. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to just kind of brush my eyebrows upwards, give them a little bit of shape. For lipstick, I'm gonna apply my eyebrow pencil just around my lip to line them. Uh, I don't know what color I'm going for, so. While we wait for this to dry, I'm gonna try to find the lipstick that we're gonna go with. Probably this one. This is a matte lipstick by LA Colors. It's in the shade, I don't know, it's just a nude lipstick. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this in the middle of my lips. It's kind of like that, and then to blend it, I'm just gonna go like it, it's so glossy, like it feels like a lip gloss for some reason, but it's not. So, I'm gonna clean that up. I think I'm gonna apply a little bit more. guys so it looks like everything's done and now I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of blush you know just using the same palette eyeshadow actually so I'm just gonna apply it on my 
cheeks right here. Not too much, not too little. But yeah, and this completes all the makeup look. I'll just go ahead and spray again. And this is the Beauty Evolved, Beauty Evolved Matte Makeup Setting Spray. This is an oil control. I applied the dewy before and then after I applied the matte. The only reason why I don't like the matte is that the drops are, the drops be big, big. So sometimes if you put it too close to your face, it could ruin your makeup. So you want to be hella, hella, hella careful when you apply it. Anyway, that completes the look. Uh, I'm just going to try to fix my hair a little bit and then should be done but yeah everything looks good it turned out pretty good pretty good just wanted you guys to see my makeup with a different lighting and just kind of see how it is it's actually it's it looks really 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 lovely wow i freaking love it wow 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 thank you guys so much for watching this video i do like how the makeup turned out it actually turned out really good and the hair is not it's not disappointing so yeah uh, i'm gonna try to link the hair down below and then all the products that i use in this uh video most of them i've actually used them in previous videos so i'm not gonna try to like link them down below unless you guys really want me to and if you do, please let me know in the comment sections down below and I'll do that. But yeah, I really appreciate your love and support and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. See ya.